everyone, welcome back. I wanted to do a quick video about Hezekiah's legs, especially about his knees, because when I was trying to Google this particular thing that he has, um, trying to look for videos about it, there was like pretty much nothing. There was three videos and one was five seconds long. So one was very helpful by a doctor, but there was no actual babies in it. It was drawings. Okay, so Mr. Hezekiah, as I've mentioned before, has um, spina bifida. So he was born with his um, uh, spinal, um, the nerves in his, in his spinal column were, were coming out of his back. So he had Milo. It's a big word that I can't say, but they call him a Milo baby. He had the worst kind of spina bifida. So the conditions with his legs can be associated with the kind of spina bifida he has, but every baby with spina bifida doesn't have them. Um, and all of them can happen without spina bifida, but they're, they're all heavily associated with spina bifida. First off, his hips are dislocated. What this means is he has some ability to open his hips out, but if you bring them down straight, he really just can't. Hey, hey, hey. He wants me to pick him back up. Hey, can we do this real quick? I can't hold you and do this, I know. Sissy, will you hold this passy? He's so mad. See, when he wants to comfort himself, he pulls his legs straight up to his chest. Now, the hip thing, like I said, it keeps him from opening his legs wide. See how they're so tight? And when he brings his legs down, when we stretch them down, he can't open them at all. They have to go, like, together to come down. So, um, but this is, in his comfort place, if he, if he wanted to comfort, I could swallow him with his legs up, and that would make him very happy, because that's how he was in the womb. So then we come to his knees. His knees are, um, he has congenital knee dislocation. So um, you see the little folds, they're like backwards. Um, and what it is is the bone here and the bone here are dislocated. And so he cannot, this is the most, he's hyper extended. The most this leg, it, when, he, when he relaxes, will go is straight, but it does not, um, it does not bend past that. And, this leg is um, even a little bit worse. It does not go straight, almost. Well, there's basically straight, yeah. But he pulls that one up way further than the other one. So um, this congenital knee dislocation, like I said, it is um, associated with his spina bifida, but it doesn't always happen and it can happen outside of it. Um, but it, I've been told the treatment is gonna be to cast him to slowly give him till he gets to a 90 degree flexion before we can do anything about his hips or his feet, which I'm getting to. But um, yeah, I found it so interesting. I just, I didn't know what was going on with his legs for a couple of days till the orthopedic um, surgeon came and talked to me. I thought, Is it, are his knees on backwards? They said, no, they're just, um, they're dislocated. So that's why they, and they've been like this the whole time. So um, that's the way he's comfortable. He doesn't like to have him, you have to wait till he's totally asleep like he is right now. And then you can start to give him a little bit of um, fl uh, flexion. So then we come to his feet. Both of his feet have different conditions and they're both also associated with Milo. This is a clubbed foot, classic clubbed foot. It is, see how it's um, bowed out here. It's, it's turned and then it's got a crease right here. So at home, we just kind of work on stretching, stretching it away from that crease. Um, it will be casted, just same as his knees. But what I've read is that his knees have to be done first because um, everything you do for the hips and for the feet needs to be done with his knees flexed and his knees can't flex right now. So the most important thing to fix is these knees. So this is his club foot. And this foot, see how far back that leg goes? It's like when he's comfortable, like, this is what he wants to do. It's like bendy leg. Um, this foot is what's called a rocker foot. It's very common with my little babies. See how it looks like the bottom of a rocker? And his foot is like squished. 
He has all the right number of toes, but his foot is like squished together. He's got all the bones, but they're all squished together. So again, the same treatment. It's like, um, it's, well, it's like a little bit different. There's casting, but there's also like a little splint that they'll put. So they're gonna reshape his foot to be the right shape so that he can stand on it. And this one, so he can stand on it. So, and then the hips are just dislocated. Um, we don't know the extent because he needs to have like um, x-rays done when we get back to Ohio. Right now, all they've done is ultrasound showing that they are indeed dislocated, but we need to see like how much socket he has and how dislocated they are, etc. But what they'll probably do is um, a cast or a brace that will slowly increase. Once they've got these knees flexed, then they'll start to work his legs like to a froggy, like that. That's what we wanna do. So those are his legs and his cute little knees. And they make it so um, interesting getting him dressed, doing his diaper, um, carrying him. It's just different because the little legs, um, they wanna just bend up against his body like that. that that's what he wants to do. And I want to just gently stretch him, but I always keep his feet together because of those dislocated hips. And then I, I don't push up here. I kind of put my whole hand and just gently stretch him straight. And this is what the physical therapist at the hospital said to do. So that's what we're doing. And that's Mr. Hezekiah who decided to finally fall asleep with his little legs up like this. It's so cute.